Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV, and I am just getting back from <clears throat> getting some flights in. I'm finally, finally, I think I flew my first seven packs in like six months. Um, doing a, trying to get 300 packs in for the month of August. I don't know how it's going to happen, and it probably won't. I'll probably screw that up. But uh, I did go flying today. I took the Genesis XLP5, which is the low profile uh, Genesis, right? Five inch. Uh, had some problems with it. Um, the biggest problem was that the antenna broke off. On uh, the last two flights, this piece broke off. I flew it anyway just to push the antenna, or push the VTX as hard as I could. But this is uh, a concern of mine. And so I'm gonna open this up and see what's going on because I sell this VTX and I better know what the hell happened to it, right? So uh, let me switch the screen over here. There we go. Now you can look at the quad as I work on it. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what happened. And if I can fix it, uh, I think hopefully I should be able to solder it. Might as well go ahead and just turn the solder iron on just in case. All right. And uh, at the same time, though, I'm a little disappointed. And I'll have to find out, you know, I, I have a feeling that the weight on it, uh, the extended weight on it may have caused it to, uh, to do that. But still, it just kind of bothers me that this is not a cheap VTX. I mean, this is a good quality VTX. Um, and, uh, you know, Rush FPV makes it, but unfortunately, um, I am seeing a problem. By the way, all that back there is, I have 14 LiPos charging right now because I plan to go back out shortly with this quad if I can get it to work and fly the heck out of it some more. So let me go ahead and see if I can pry this off, if possible, and see how I can get this taken care of. And also try to figure out, I mean, if this antenna is not going to work, that's fine. Um, but, uh... You know, I'm not so sure that there's a antenna that's going to work then that will have the quality that I need that won't snap this piece off. So let's just see what we got and maybe we can take it from there, okay? All right, so I can take the, the top plate off. Now this is obviously the uh, cover uh, with the foil sticker on it. I don't think I'll be able to get this off with this double-sided tape, but I'm going to try. All right, screw it. Anyway, so here's where our, our antenna issue is. Um, and we can see right here, I'm gonna put the darn antenna. Can't be far, I just had, oh, here it is. Okay, so uh, by the looks of it, I would say that this snapped, ooh, man, that's not good at all. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much with this. Uh, but let me just see. No, cause it ripped it, it ripped the I believe it ripped the whole thing right out. So my guess is that it went in like this and my guess is right. And so based on that, uh, let me just check and see here. Sorry, this is gonna get kind of weird. So I'll just give you the front uh, angle here instead so you don't have to see me look through this old man glasses. Uh, but I am gonna see if there's even, if I think it ripped the entire pad off. And if it did, then I am pretty much screwed, I guess. So. And it's funny because during the flight, I noticed I lost all, I mean, like the signal went to, sh to crap real quick, right? And I'm pretty sure that I've lost, I'm pretty sure this has ripped the pad off. Um, so that sucks. God darn it. I mean, that really sucks. This thing, you know, I expect a little bit more out of this, but uh, maybe I'm just asking for too much. So looks like I'm going to get with Rush FP, I'm going to get with Rush on this and see what the hell's going on because... I can't imagine that this thing can't handle that. Uh, you know, it, sh it should be able to, but let me go ahead and see if I can just fix this real quick or at least replace it, and then I'll open this one up. And, okay, so we're gonna go, uh, let's just get all these out of here. Just really disappointed right now that that's even happened. I did not expect that to happen. I mean, this is not a cheap, like I said, it's not a cheap component. All right, let me go grab something else here real quick. I may grab another one, I'm not sure yet. Um, that was the tank. So let's see if we do, uh, let's see. Huh. Well, I'm coming back, I promise. I'm just trying to see product-wise which one I want. And this is the, uh, I'm not sure which one I want to grab here. So I have the tank here, and then I have the tank light here, which would be the racing version, I guess. 
Let me grab that one and see. That may be. It's not what I used. I know that. Let me just see what I got here and see if this is something. Uh, might as well anyway because I've got to test it. So sorry for the stepping away here part, but um, so that is that is what I used. Crap. Well, that sucks. I mean, that really sucks because now I'm really concerned that I used the Tank Race Edition and that went to crap. Um, no offense, Rush, but I mean, I kind of need to know if it happens again, I have to at least tell my customers that they need to be prepared for something like that. And that's not exactly something that I want to do. So let's hope that this was a fluke. Uh, I will use a smaller antenna uh, just in case that that had too much uh, weight on the end of it, especially when it lands, I kind of land a little hard sometimes, so I'm sure that that force, but still, I really need it to not break. Um, I mean, that's not, I don't want that to be my area of concern here anymore. But let's go ahead and just get this soldered up. Let me make sure you guys can see the work being done. Uh, I know the camera's not exactly on properly here for this angle, but uh, let's see, we're gonna do our ground. We're going to do our smart audio, and that's all we're going to use, right? So I'm just going to reconnect the cables that were here, and I'm going to hope for the best, and if the best does not happen, I'm going to get really pissed off, and we'll have to go another route. Um, but I think that if I just make that adjustment, we should be okay. This could very well just be something that's uh, more of a lesson learned. Do not use a, a large antenna. Um, I don't know, whatever. All right, so let me go ahead and just get this ready. Like that. And now let me connect all the wires and we can get back out and start flying. Hopefully, as long as nothing else screws up, we should be good. Let me get the positive on here. I'm gonna line these up real quick. Okay, so with the ground on. wire here. Smart audio. Now let's do video. There we go. We should be good. I'll get the hot glue gun going here in just a second. And then this should be without any issues right back to normal. Stuck to the bottom plate. So let me go ahead and get that ready while we're at it. And then uh, let me see what I want to do here. Looks like we've got a little bit of you know what, I'll tuck these in too for the, um, uh, hold on, let me change the screens here. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. As far as the antenna goes, this is the HDLRC. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave this with this broken one so I can show Rush and see what they're, if they have a solution or if that's just not recommended to use. I have no idea. Um, and in the meantime, what the hell am I going to use? Uh, let me go see. Mm. How about, we'll try a fox here. All right, it's so the Lollipop 2s, and it's smaller. Uh, should not have an issue, hopefully. But uh, I think what I'll do this time is I'll apply some hot glue down here. Uh, and that is my wife texting me, so give me one second. Let me see what she needs. Maybe she's coming back now. Uh, All right, wait for the glue, glue gun to get warmed up here. Uh, I do need some double-sided tape. So let me find that real quick. Go ahead and turn the solder machine off. Let's get some tape going. And let's go ahead, and obviously it's going to rip this piece off again, but that is okay. I'm just gonna run this 
through here, just like that. Okay. where it will sit. Let me just go ahead and get this ready. That's not going to work exactly like I wanted, but about right, <coughs> right there. Let's see if that fits. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so all I need to do now is just glue this down, power it up, make sure that we have video. Let me see how my glue gun's doing here. Yeah, it's almost there. It's kind of hot. It burns a little, but still got a little bit to go. So while that's going, let me go ahead and just test this out, I guess. So I'll just turn it upside down. That way we don't ground anything out, hopefully. Oh, that's not a very smart idea. So let me just, let's try that. All right, now, make sure nothing is touching and it doesn't look like it is. Okay, and let's grab our little TV here and see if we have any video coming in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so there we go. So we got video. Oops. Well, I realize now that uh, by doing that, we lost, um, we interfered with the Wi-Fi signal. So this whole video is gonna go to crap. Let's see if we can get this back up. I'm, I'm waiting for the camera to catch back up. I guess not. Huh. Well, it's still getting the audio. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down now. Um, I forgot that by doing that we would interfere with video. God darn, it's my luck. Let me just go ahead and glue this down properly. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of extra glue right there. and kind of jump it around the antenna. I don't want this thing going anywhere. There we go. Go. Let that cool off for a second. Uh, let me go get an aerosol can. That will help me. Okay, so that part's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here too on the antennas for the uh, receiver just to hold those in place. Go ahead and hit that with some air. Let it spread out pretty good. Don't have to wait years for it to cool down. And now it's time to put everything back together. And hopefully the glue has not created too much of a problem. But it looks like maybe it's made things a little tighter than I was hoping. That's alright. We'll just heat it up real quickly and get it all to fit again. Okay, so whenever you find yourself in a stupid position like the one I'm in, where you put too much glue, just send your heat gun in there and melt it, and it'll actually just do perfect, and then what it'll do is melt, and then everything will kind of fit back together, and then it'll cool, and you'll have this everything glued, I guess. So let's just do that. There you go. And now let's fasten it all together properly. Oh, wait, i got to put this in stuff. Oh, moly, I'm just not staying on task here. I'm going to run this underneath right there. There we go. Okay. Yep, that's about right. Let's put that there. one. There it is. Looks like we're back in business. Everything looks pretty solid. 
I don't see any problems there at all. Uh, antennas are looking fine. I'll clean this up just a little bit. And the wobbling in the videos, uh, one of the reasons is I'm trying to fly all my packs on one set of props. Uh, these props, there's a couple of them that have bent. And you can, well, you can hear they're striking. They're striking the battery. It's not bad. Um, everything else looks pretty good. Everything's solid. Okay, so that's it. So we're going to go ahead and take this uh, back out. Sorry about the uh, video freezing in the process, but the VTX did come on on the screen. Uh, this antenna looks like it's going to do a, a little bit better job. Um, and so we're going to take this back out and go fly 10 packs real quick, okay? I'll keep you posted, guys. If you need anything, hit me up at Tark at CycloneFPV.com. And uh, I'll see you soon. Safe flying. God bless. Bye.